Hey everybody, this is Philly Off and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video on the Just Vanilla server. Right, a couple of things I want to do today. Firstly, we're going to pop over to spawn to the seasonal area because, as you know, it was Valentine's Day yesterday. So happy Valentine's to everybody. I hope you got everything you were after. I hope you had a really nice time with the, with the one you love. Uh, but uh, we've got a competition going on at the moment over at spawn in the seasonal area. And I want to go, it's a pixel art competition. I want to go out, I want to go over and check some of them out because I've not been to see them yet. So I want to do that first. Uh, and secondly, I'm tired, so, so tired of breeding villagers. I mean, I've been breeding villagers for days. I know it was Valentine's Day yesterday and there's loads of free love going about. But uh, I can't get, a, 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 well, I say I can't get. I'm not getting any decent librarians, and when I do get, well, you know, when I get them, they're pants, uh, but and I don't get them very often. So I've got an idea, uh, which I'll share with you in a bit. Actually, it's, I think it's a, I think it's a cracking idea, a very, very dangerous idea, but a cracking nonetheless. So what we'll do to start with is wander over to spawn via my lighthouse. I've done a bit more decorating over there, and then. Uh, We'll have a look around spawn and then come back and stop playing on the HMS Emerald. And lastly, thirdly, I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to me. I finally passed the 1,000 subscribers mark. Uh, passed it this afternoon. Uh, I am so happy. It's brilliant. So thank you to everybody. Uh, so now I can stop going on about it. Uh, but uh, it's it's really important to me. It means a, a great deal to me to reach 1,000 subscribers is is massive. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, let's crack on. Let's uh, let's wander over to the lighthouse. So I've done a bit of filling in. I've filled in. I filled in that. There's a big hole there. I've got no idea wh how it got there, where it came from. From, but it was there. I'm sure I did it, but uh, I don't remember doing it. But nevertheless, uh, that is going to be the entrance to something or other. I don't know what yet. It's been there forever. I've no idea what to do with it. So I've done a bit of a path. I've done a bit of a sandstone birchwood path. And I had to go all the way over there to get some birchwood. Would you believe it? 40 odd episodes in and I didn't have any birchwood. So anyway, I had to go all the way over there to get it. Uh, and I put a bit more lighting around the outside of it. Did you see? I don't know whether you saw. Now the light up the top. I tried to be clever. Tried to get a bit clever earlier on uh, and, uh, you know, off camera. And I changed those, the glowstone up there for redstone lamps because in this texture pack, redstone lamps are either black when they're out or white and glowing when they're on. So I thought I'd be clever and put some glowstone lamps up there and link them to a daylight sensor. So they only came on at night, which I thought was a good idea. However, it looked pants. So I finished up ripping them all out. I had to go to the nether to get some more glowstone because I'd used all my glowstone to turn the, uh, to make the redstone lamps out of. So we, we had some more fun with the gas and everything. Uh, oh, oh, I can't walk past the cactus. It's not as if they're big enough. Uh, so anyway, the, the redstone lamps are back in again. Uh, so and I've, I've as I say, put the path down, birchwood, sandstone, bit of path blocks, put some lighting under there with some. Uh, spruce leaves, bit of wood up there, some steps. Got myself an iron door. I'm probably, and I'm, I'm toying with the idea now of turning the the basement of this, the bottom part of this, into a potion brewing room. Because I don't really need a massive amount. Of, there are only so many potions that you can use. I mean, I think water breathing, um, night vision, and there's another one that I use regularly can't remember what it is but there, there are three or four four tops so i might turn this into a potion brewing room uh, automated one uh, and, and have it as like a basement and have the main floor starting there and maybe put some chests i don't know yeah i've got, still got a i'm still playing with the idea anyway Put a, I put another nether portal in my in my hub, which is that one there, which leads straight to the lighthouse. This one is oh, that's my horse. I keep forgetting about my horse. Brilliant horse. The uh, there's the one there that goes to the ship. 
There's the one there that goes to the main island, which has still got to be moved at the moment. That's in the wrong place. And there's that one there, which goes to the Guardian Farm. I will be linking this one up soon, which will go to the Skelly, Skelly Spawner. Might even do that today. Remind me to do that later on, because I want to do that later on. So I think the first port of call is going to be the seasonal area. And we'll spend just a couple of minutes up there because, uh, well, I say a couple of minutes. I don't know how many entrants there are. The, uh, the, the judging has just started uh, and people have got to vote on the Just Vanilla website for their favourite pixel art. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look at them. <laughs> why, is it, why is it always raining? <laughs> Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17? Oh, oh, did you see him up there? Showing a bit of skelly love. Yeah. That's what we need, a bit of skelly love. Alright, so let's have a shifty, shifty around here then. I'm reliably informed that that's a donut. Actually, if you look at the, uh, if you look at top right, if you look at the uh, voxel map at the top right, it looks like a frosted donut. It's just hard to see what it is from down here, but it's definitely a donut. Very nice, yeah. I don't know whether there is a little plaque on everything telling people who's made them, or whether whether you just have to say what it is and whether you like it or not. That is, uh, that's, I've got no idea what that is. That looks like an evil rabbit. A she evil sheep. Am I not seeing that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, I know what that is. That's a big bear with a creeper on the top of it. Look at that. Hello, mate. Happy Valentine's Day. That's very nice. Now I'm. <laughs> it's nice to draw hearts on things, isn't it? <laughs> but things that look like actual hearts, it, that's brilliant. Although, uh, oh yeah, although it's not quite Valentine, is he? But it's fantastic. That is really, really good. Brilliant. Love potions. You can't beat some love potions. Yeah. This would look a whole lot better if it wasn't chucking down with rain, I'm sure. Yats a kiss for one diamond. There you go, Yats. Kiss that. Yeah, puppies wearing socks. Very cute. Oh, and a massive... Yeah, I saw the massive heart in the middle, didn't we? That's a, that's a Valentine heart. That's a valid. That's a proper Valentine heart. That is very nice. Yeah, fabulous. Well done to everybody that's put a bit of put a bit of art in here. It's fantastic. Oh, there's another one flying up there. Very nice. We're, the the guys on here are fantastic builders. No two ways about it. Fabulous. Right. Back to base, and we will work on getting myself a decent villager. Now, this is going to be here and scare him, and I'm really looking forward to doing it. Okay, well, I popped over to my gold farm on the way back from spawn because I need a I need to repair my pick a little bit, uh, which I have done, and B I need some gold for my next little project. Look at that. You can't kill them with one shot when you want to, can you? Cooey! Hello, you ugly little fellas. Can you not see me down there? You pair? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fighting to get in. Look at you. 
All right then. I'll make it easy. Now this is nowhere near, nowhere near as good as it should be for the size of it. And I can, I can only put that down to the fact that there is a mob cap or it's a spigot setting or something. We don't have many people online at the moment, so I don't know, don't know why it's not producing, uh, unless the people that are online are in the nether, I suppose. But it's just about doing a job for me. So we'll just grab these last couple and then we'll make our way back to the island. We'll have a look what we've got and then we'll make our way back to the island. Excellent. Right. Look at that. Look at that. Here's me saying it's not very good. And I've got loads of stuff. Okie dokie. Right, I'll, uh, I'm going to go back down. I don't have my elytra either. Otherwise, I'd just fly down. But I don't have them on me. Whee! Look at that. He fell off the top, he did. Proper little skydiver. Anyway, I digress. Back to the island. Okay, we're back on board the... HMS Emerald, and as you can see, not a great deal has happened since we were last here. Uh, I've I've got a couple of uh, couple of villages over here. Nothing special. Curse of binding rubbish. Uh, Fire protection four rubbish. Depth Strider two rubbish. And this guy has got efficiency. Four, five for 46. That's not actually not that bad. Have I got an efficiency five better than that? Oh, yeah, I have. Look, two efficiency 14s there. Efficiency five there for 28. So it's not uh, it's not brilliant. Plus protection three for 24. That's okay, I guess. And projectile protection for 29. No good at all. So what I, what I want to do, and this is pretty radical, really. What I want to do is use the using the gold that I've just received, uh, found, got, had away with. I've made some golden apples. Uh, and I've got a, a name tag. And I've also got three splash potions of weakness. Now, can you guess what I'm going to do? Well, if you can't, I'm going to tell you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flush these guys down the tube, down here, but I'm going to take out the killing chamber, so they're not going to die, and they're going to go into here. I'm going to rearrange this bit of uh, track here. They're going to park themselves here, and in there, I'm going to have a zombie. Now, because we're playing on hard, if a zombie has a way with a villager, it turns them into a zombie villager, always, 100% of the time. Uh, and it clears the inventory. So if I stick one of those in a corner and stick a zombie uh, stick a zombie the other side of him, he's going to get turned into a zombie villager. I can then change him back into a villager and he'll have a completely new inventory. I'm hoping. Now, don't quote me on that. I know it clears inventory for farmers and everything. I don't know whether it resets it, but that's that's the plan. That's what I'm going to give um, that's what I'm going to try and do. But first of all, I need to get myself a zombie. Now, I made myself a bit of a dark room in here, in the old poop deck, front deck, bow deck, whatever you want to call it, in that room there. Uh, I've taken the lights out. It's pretty dark in there. And as yet, I've had a skeleton in there and nothing else, which is no good to me. And I've had a spider spawn on the deck, which again, no good to me. So what I need to do is possibly... And this is where Voxel Maps is a bit cheaty. However, it's available and, well, I'm going to use it. But it does tell me where the zombies are. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll have a quick shifty round and see if I can find myself any... I wonder if I can... Oh, I filled this in as well. I filled all the centre in. All of that filled in with glass this is going to be my item elevator up to my storage area which is going to be over here somewhere don't know where yet but it's going to be over here so i'm going to have a wander downstairs or around to see if i can find myself a zombie get him over 
on the boat. Okay, well, we've got one. It doesn't have a hat on, so I'm hoping I'm going to get him back onto the boat quick enough. Don't really want to name him yet either, just in case he dies. Mind you, we have got five minutes or so. Now, I'm pretty sure mobs still don't like walking across rails. So hopefully, once I've crossed that rail, he's just going to get picked up by the minecart. Come on, fella, you're not very quick, are you? Look at that lighthouse, beautiful, beautiful. I'm also hoping, actually, what I need to do is get up there and close, close the doors so he can't get down to the... Oh, you are an idiot. Do not go under the water. You are doing, aren't you? Idiot. Idiot zombies. No wonder you've all become extinct. Oh, no, that was dinosaurs, wasn't it? Right, I need to get on there and close the trap door kind of things to stop this guy from going downstairs and trying to eat the villagers that are already down there. I don't think he will, though, because he won't be able to see them, will he? Do that. All right, let's see if you'll actually walk across line, uh, railway lines this time. Oh, you will. Oh, clever, clever boy. Clever boy. Excellent. Right, so now I can name you. Sid. <laughs> this is all going all going far too well. Right, now, hopefully, he hasn't got onto the main line that that my uh, villagers are on. Otherwise, he's going to go around the top and he's going to fall down and eat somebody. No, so far, so good. So far, so good. There he is. Fantastic. I bet those villagers upstairs are absolutely wetting themselves. There's a zombie down there. There's a zombie down there. Right, so that's that. He's going to come around here. He's going to go down there. He's going to drop on the track. He's going to go up into the corner. And you, my good fellow, are going to try and eat him. It's a win-win. Okay. Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. I think we'll have you, sir. Yeah. Can you see him? Can you see him over there? His name's Sid. You'll like him. You've got the same interests, I'm sure. You'll have loads to talk about. Oh, come on, Sid. Can you not get to him? Can you not get to him? Do I have to put blocks around you? Do I? Oh, I'm going to grab some glass then. Oh, you're going to make this difficult for me, aren't you? You can eat people through the corners of walls. I know you can. Right, so we need to put that there. There and there. Do we have to break your minecart then? Sid, is that what it is? Maybe it's not. The village is mine, God. It's a problem. Maybe it's yours. Don't go jumping through walls. This is really going to make me sad. If you jump through a wall... Can't get out, can you? 
Oh, I knew you'd be able to do that. Why have you done that? How can you jump through a wall? That's just so wrong. Anyway, now you're through. Are you going to do something? Can you not see him? Oh, he's in the glass, isn't he? Oh, at last. At last. Go on, then. Munch away. Munch away, my good zombie fellow. Excellent. Excellent. Right, now I need to get you back in that corner. Oh, you are unbelievable. All right, what have you got? Oh, you would not believe it. You would not believe it. Do you believe it? I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, you might do. Well, I'll tell you what for nothing. Sir, you're going back up in that corner. Where did? What did you do with that minecart? Did you... Have you stuck it in your pocket? You've had away with my minecart. Alright, get back up here, you. Get back up there, you. Right, I am going to stick. You can stay in there for a minute. Stick that there. We'll have another go at getting a... Getting a zombie down here then, shall we? Come on, mate. Come on. Eat him. Eat him good. Eat him real good. Right, you don't look like a white coat again. You look like another cartographer, don't you? I am as sure as as sure as eggs are eggs, you are not going to be a librarian, are you? Would have been so much easier just to breed them, wouldn't it? Get me. All right, finally got you where I wanted you. You better be worth it at the end of this. Oh, you are, you are, you're a cartographer. Do I try again? Third time lucky. I know you don't like it, but you're going in. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're going in. <laughs> You've gone in, now you're coming out. <laughs> You look like a cartographer. You are a cartographer. Right. I don't know how I managed to do that. You were definitely not a cartographer when I sent you down there. Right, that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> I can't believe that. Just five out of the six have changed of being cartographers. 
So I think I'm going to give that up as a bad job. As fantastic as it seemed when I first dreamt it up. I think. I'm going to stick to my... Oh, I'm going to stick to my villager breeder. I'm going to stick to my villager breeder. I've got a Prezi. Nearly, or maybe the t uh, maybe at the time of reading, 1,000 subs. Lil Gift. Big smiley face, actually. I'm on 1,005 subs at the moment, so thank you. Oh, brilliant. And tell me who you are, please, so I can thank you properly for my one diamond for 1,000 subs. That's fantastic. Thank you. Let me just feed these bad boys. Tried into trusted villager breeder. I know I should trust you. You've never let me down. Well... Never let me down big. Brilliant. So I'm going to call it a day for today then, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. It's been brilliant having you along. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Frilly Off in my village breeder. And I'm out of here.